Hi everybody, welcome to another Yarn Scrap Friday and I thought I would do another little animal, I haven't done one for a while and so I'm going to be showing you how to make a little pig. <laughs> So for this tutorial we're going to be using two shades of pink because I've made um, the little snout a darker pink. You don't have to use a darker pink but I thought it just adds a little bit of character. Um, but I've got two shades of pink and that's a DK light worsted weight yarn, that's a yarn weight of three. And you're also going to need, a, not this much, but a tiny little bit of black just for the eyes as well. And we're gonna, with that we're going to be using a... 3.5 millimeter E4 crochet hook as per usual. I seem to use that hook the most, I think. And you're gonna need a pair of scissors and a yarn needle as well. And you're also gonna need some toy stuffing. Um, you can get toy stuffing from, um, you can get it on eBay. And you can probably get it from your local sort of craft store. But if you haven't got that, you can, I'm just trying to find some as an example here. You can just use leftover yarn scraps like this as well that's great for stuffing and it's a great way to use up those scraps okay so let's begin okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our little snout color but you can just go straight into the pig pink color if you want to um, but what we're going to do first is we're going to chain three so we're going to do our little slip knot first our little slip knot then we're going to chain three so chain one putting it through the loops, two and three. We're going to chain three chains. And then what we're going to do in our second chain from hook now, our second chain from hook, we don't count the loop on our hook. So there's our first chain and there's our second one. It's basically the one in the middle. And in that one in the middle, we're going to put our hook <laughs> It's really hard to do for a camera. Um, but then we're going to uh, we're going to do two single crochet and this is in US terminology so bring the yarn through and do a single crochet like so then we're going to go back in there again put our hook back into that same middle chain again and do another single crochet so you've got two single crochet in that second chain from hook the one in the middle then in the next chain now it's a good idea actually when you work into your chain, I'll say this, is to only work under one bit of yarn. You see there I only went under one bit of yarn. That's so we can see these chains easier when we work back in, into them again because we're going to work back into them again. But in the next chain, the last one at the end, we're also going to do two single crochet. So one single crochet and then we go back into there again, back into the same last chain and do another single crochet. So by the end of that first row you should have four stitches. Then what we're going to do is we're going to work into these chains again but in the opposite direction. If you just worked under one bit of yarn it should be fairly easy to still see them. Well, you can see them quite clearly anyway. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back into that last chain again which now becomes our first chain in the opposite direction. So we're going this direction first and we're going to turn it over and we're going to go in this direction. But this last chain here that we just worked into now becomes our first chain. And in there, we're going to go back in there again. We're going to do two more single crochet. So one and another one. And same stitch. You're just going back into that same last chain again. So effectively, you end up with four single crochet in that last chain, not first, last chain, four single crochet. Then, now we're facing this direction, turning your work around clockwise. You want to find that second chain there, the next one along. You should be able to see it. Second one there. You're going to work back into there again, put your hook into there and do two single crochet in there as well. One and back in there again. Two. So by the end of that row, you have four single crochet as well. Um, but in total, you should have eight, two, four, six, eight. And now what we're going to do is we're going to be working in the round. So we're just going to carry on going round and round and round. So you should have gone in this direction, then gone back in the opposite direction. And now we're going to go round and round. And the first thing to do is to find that 
single crochet that first one there which should be right at the top and if you can't see that just make sure you pull your stitches down so you can see that first one that so make sure you've got eight so if you can only see seven it probably means you've crocheted over that very first one so what we're going to do is we are going to in that top stitch there that first single crochet we did on our pig we're going to put our hook into there going under both loops and do a little slip stitch so bring the yarn through that single crochet and straight for the loop on your hook to do a little slip stitch and that is effectively the beginning of our little snout then what we're going to do is we're going to bring in our pig colour this is why you might not want to uh, use two different pinks you might just want to use one pink what we're going to do though is we are going to chain one with our light pink instead so instead of yarning over with your dark pink we're going to yarn over with our light pink and I just hold it the project and the, the yarn with my finger there just bring that through the loop to do a chain one that's effectively a chain one and holding it again with that finger it's going to pull the pink down now that chain one is not going to count as a stitch so that can happily disappear and never be seen again so don't worry if that gets really small but what we want to do now is this first single crochet that we just slip stitched into we want to go back into there but we want to go into the back loop only so you can see these stitches here you have normally we go under two if i show you on this one clearly normally we go under two bits of yarn like that that's the front loop here and the one this side is the back loop so instead of going under both loops we want to go down in between and just go through the back loop like that leaving this front one alone but we're going to do that in the stitch the single crochet we just slip stitched into let's pull that pink down so find that single crochet you just slip stitched into normally we'd, we would go normally we'd go through both loops like that but what we want to do is we want to go down the middle and just go through that back loop and in there we are going to do a single crochet okay one single crochet there we go let's pull the tails down a bit then we're going to do one single crochet in each stitch round but in the back loop only so in the next one along back loop only just the back loop we're going to do a single crochet there you go, you can see we're leaving that front loop alone. One in the next one, one single crochet in the next back loop only. And one single crochet in each back loop around. Back to the meaning. one and back loop only one single crochet in the next stitch back loop only one single crochet in the next stitch back loop only and then the last one one single crochet in the back loop only of that last one but the thing you want to be careful of is this stitch here because this looks like another stitch but if you count one two three four five six seven eight we've got our eight stitches so that's what i call a fake stitch that's there just to confuse you so what you want to do is to skip that fake stitch skip your chain one which will be in the dark pink it's very very small find that first proper single crochet that you did in that first back loop only in the lighter pink and put your hook into there and put it into there as normal for so go under both loops so you're going under both loops now and do a slip stitch okay so pull that through the stitch straight through the loop on your hook okay and then just push it out this way and there we go so you should have a stitch count of eight still and all those stitches have been worked into the back loops you've got these front loops left alone that just creates a little bit of texture like so and that's the end of 
that round. Okay, so moving on to round three, what we're going to do now is we're going to chain one again. Again, don't count that as a stitch, just ignore that as a stitch. Then we are going to do one single crochet in the same stitch that we just slip stitched into. So this single crochet we just slip stitched into, we're going to go back into there again, just like we did for the previous round, but we're going to go onto the stitch as normal, so go onto both loops and do a single crochet. Just one single crochet. Okay. Then in the next stitch we're going to do two single crochet. So next stitch and on again, just going under it as normal. Going under the stitches as normal now two single crochet, so one, and go back into the same stitch again, do two single crochet. Then in the next stitch we are, we're just going to repeat that round basically, we're going to go back to doing one single crochet, so in the next stitch do one single crochet, then in the next stitch we do two single crochet, one and another one in the same stitch. Then we go back to doing just one single crochet. In the next stitch, just the one. Then two single crochet in the next stitch. One and another one in the same stitch, two. Two in there, and then one single crochet in the next stitch, just the one. Just one, and then finishing up with two single crochet. So you should end on two single crochet, one and another one in the same stitch, two. Okay, two single crochet. You should have a stitch count now of 12. And again, it looks like you've got another stitch there, but that is the fake stitch there to trick you. So check you've got 12, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. Skip your fake stitch, stitch, skip your chain one which has gone very small, find that first single crochet that you did and do a slip stitch into there, okay. into that first single crochet. Just join the round. And there we go, that's the end of round three. Okay so for round four what we're going to do, similar thing, we're going to chain one, don't count that as a stitch, go back into the same stitch you just slip stitched into so go back into that first single crochet you slip stitched into and do one single crochet. And we're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch around. So we're keeping a stitch count of 12. Okay, of 12. So just one single crochet in each stitch around. Keeping a stitch count of 12. Just go up to the last stitch again. One single crochet in there. And then we've got our fake stitch again, skip our fake stitch, skip the chain one, find your first single crochet that you did and slip stitch into there. Okay, so by the end of that round you should still have a stitch count of 12, make sure it's facing in this direction. And we can just cut the dark pink yarn and finish with that so it doesn't get all tangled. Okay, then we're going to move on to round five. So for round five, we're going to work some more increases. So we're going to chain one. Again, don't count that as a stitch. And we're going to do one single crochet in the same stitch we just slip stitched into. Let's go back into there and do one single crochet. Then in the next stitch, we're going to do one single crochet as well. Just one single crochet in there. Just the one. Then in the next stitch, uh, then over the next four stitches, we're going to do two single crochet in the next four stitches. So in the next stitch, we do two single crochet. One and another one in the same stitch, two. Okay, so you've got two in there. Two in the next stitch. One and another one in the same stitch, two. Okay, two in there, two single crochet in the next stitch, and two, okay, so you've got two in there, two single crochet in the next stitch, one, and another one in the same stitch, so you've done two single crochet in the next four stitches, two single crochet in the next four, 
Then we're going to do one single crochet in the next two. So one single crochet in the next stitch, just the one. One single crochet in the next stitch, just the one. Okay, one single crochet in the next two. Then we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to do two single crochet in the next four stitches. So two single crochet in the next stitch. Two in there, two single crochet in the next stitch, okay, so two in there, two single crochet in the next stitch, one and another one in the same stitch, two, so two in there, then two single crochet in the last stitch. So you've done two single crochet in the next four stitches again. Then we skip our fake stitch there, skip our chain one which got really small and then find that first single crochet you did and slip stitch into there to join the round. So at the end of that round you should have a stitch count of 20. 20? Yes, stitch count of 20. Then what we're going to do is just a simple round. We're going to chain one, do one single crochet in the same stitch you just slip stitched into, go back into there, and do one single crochet in each stitch around. So we're keeping a stitch count of 20. So just one single crochet into each stitch around, just the one. Okay, let's go up to the last stitch. So I've just done one single crochet into each stitch around skip the fake stitch, skip the chain one, find that first single crochet and slip stitch into there. Let's join the round. You should still have a stitch count of 20. Now what we're going to do is we're going to work the ears, these little ears on the top and they are literally made as you crochet along, you don't sew them on. So what we're going to do is we are going to chain one, don't count that as a stitch, and we're going to do one single crochet in the same stitch we just slip stitched into, so we go back into that first single crochet and do one single crochet and then what we want to do is we want to do one single crochet in the next four stitches so go straight into the next stitch do a single crochet one then the next stitch do one single crochet two then in the next stitch we do one single crochet three then in the next stitch we do one single crochet, four. So do one single crochet in the next four. And that should get you to about here on your pig. So if that was your pig facing you, it's gonna be at about an angle there. We're gonna put the ears. And to make the ear, what we're going to do is we're going to chain four. So chain one, two, three, and four. Then in your second stitch from hook, we're going to do a single crochet. So our second stitch from hook, we don't count the loop on our hook. There's our first, there's our second stitch down. So in there, we're going to put our hook and do a single crochet. Okay, one single crochet. Then the next stitch, we're going to do a half double crochet. So we're going to yarn over, go into the next chain. And then you have a pull through all three to do a half double crochet. Then in the very last one there, we're going to do a double crochet. So we're going to yarn over, put a hook into there, bring the yarn through, and do a double crochet. Pull through two, pull through two. That creates his little ear. But then what we're going to do is we are going to do one single crochet in the next four along here. So find your next stitch back on your main head part of your pig, put a hook in there and do one single crochet. Okay, that's one, then one single crochet in the next stitch, two, one single crochet in the next stitch, three, and one single crochet in the next stitch, four. Okay, so you've done one single crochet in the next four across at the top of your pig. Then we're going to do his next ear. So we do the same thing again, we chain four. One, two, three, 
and four. Then our second stitch and hook is our first one, two, second one. We do a single crochet, one single crochet. Next chain, we do a half double crochet, exactly the same as before. And then in the last chain, just there, we do a double crochet. Okay, like so. And then we're just going to do one single crochet in the remaining 11 stitches. So you should have 11 stitches left. So we go straight into the next stitch back on the main part of the pig and do one single crochet. And we do one single crochet. There we go. <laughs> in each stitch, just one single crochet in each stitch to the end. You should have 11 left. Two, three, the last one, 11. So one single crochet in each stitch and the last 11 to the end. There's your fake stitch, so skip your fake stitch, skip your tiny chain one down there and find your first proper single crochet and slip stitch into there. There we go, and that's finished that round, and you can see his little ears curling over nicely. But now what we're going to do, you should have a stitch count still of 20, we're not counting the ears as stitches, so you're just counting the actual round, you should still have 20 left. Then we're going to do, how many rows, how many rounds is it? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, so we're going to do 6 rounds of just chain 1, 1 single crochet in each stitch round, slip stitch to join, keeping a stitch count of 20. Do that for six rounds but the first one I'll show you because we've got the ears in the way so we chain one don't count that as a stitch do one single crochet in that same stitch you just slip stitched into don't forget to go back into there then one single crochet in each stitch around keeping a stitch count of 20 but on this first one when you've got the ears in the way I'll show you what to do so we come up to the last stitch there before the ear and then what you want to do is actually skip those four chains or three chains, four chains that side and the three stitches this side. You want to skip those, okay, skip all of that and find the next, if you just pull your ear like that you'll find the next stitch on the corner there. So if you just count from the top of your ear, one, two, three, skip those three find the next stitch on that corner there, put your hook in there, keeping your yarn at the back, bring the yarn through. Then what you want to do before you finish is you want to pop your ear through in between your two loops basically, because you want the ear to be at the front. So we're going to pop that to the front in between your two loops, just pull slightly, keep it tight, then yarn over to do your single crochet. And there we go, you've single crocheted behind the ear and do that again over to the next one. So one, you should have four stitches in between, two, so one, two, three, four. So there's the last one there. Okay, you don't want to go into there, you just want to find that last one there. And again, find the top of your ear, skip the three down, one, two, three, and then you should, that should help you find your next stitch, which is on the corner there, okay, so don't miss it. Bring the yarn through, and you get your two loops, and just before you finish your single crochet, we pop the ear to the front, like so. Just pull a little bit, and then yarn over and do your single crochet to finish. Secure that, and then the ear's at the front then. Then just carry on round back to the beginning and then we slip stitch to join. So we need to do six rounds of just chain one, one single crochet in the same stitch as your previous slip stitch, one single crochet in each stitch around, slip stitch to join. Do that for six rounds, okay? So I'm going to do this, finish this round, then do it for another five rounds, keeping a stitch count of 20. And then I shall come back and show you what to do next. Okay, so coming up to the last stitch on the sixth round. Just doing one single crochet in each stitch round. Skip the fake stitch, skip your chain one, find your first stitch and slip stitch into there. So there we go, so it should look a little something like this, this now. You should still have a stitch count of 20. 
What we're going to do now is do some decreases. We're going to do one decrease round and then we're going to stuff our little pig. A bit of pig stuffing. <laughs> and we're going to chain one to begin. And starting in the same stitch that you just slip stitched into, we're going to single crochet two stitches together. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our hook into that same stitch we just slip stitched into. Bring the yarn through. But we're going to stop there and then we're going to go into the next stitch and bring the yarn through. Yarn over, pull through all three loops and that single crochets two stitches together. So it decreases two stitches down to one. We're going to repeat that all the way around. So we're going to go into the next stitch, bring the yarn through, stop, go into the next stitch, bring the yarn through, yarn over, pull through all three. Okay, just repeat that round. We're going to reduce our stitch count down from 20 to 10. Okay, and single crocheting two stitches together. So it's the next stitch, stop, into the next stitch. So you get three loops, yarn over, pull through all three. Two stitches. Stop. So next stitch, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. And there we go. And there's our fake stitch chain one. And you should find your first decrease there. So there's your first single crochet two together. Just to the right of that is your first stitch. Or slip stitch into there. Just join the round. And your stitch count should have gone down to ten now. You see that's coming a bit. Then what we're going to do is going to pull up slightly and then we're going to stuff our pig. So either get some yarn scraps like I've got here or some toy stuffing. And I recommend using similar or light, lightish colour pieces of yarn to stuff your pig with. So I'm going to stuff my pig and then come back and show you the last, the last round on the main pig. Okay. okay, so I finished stuffing. I actually ended up having to use some dark colours but it doesn't matter. He looks okay. And then what we're going to do is we are just going to single crochet two together until it closes up. So we don't need to chain one at the beginning or join at the end. We're just literally just going to go into the, straight into the next stitch. Bring the yarn through, stop into the next stitch. Single crocheting two stitches together until the hole closes up. Okay. Until it gets too fiddly. Keeping the stuffing down. Okay. So when you get back to the beginning, you just literally just find a stitch. So if I have a look there, you can see this one I'm trying to get into, there we go. You just single crochet two together. Your stitch count doesn't matter now, you're, you're really just trying to close the hole as much as possible. And I can probably just about do one more I think. about as good as I'm going to get it and then what I'm just going to do is I'm going to go into the next stitch and out over the other side and just do a slip stitch just going to do a little slip stitch that really joins that up at the end obviously you can see my dart yarn coming through there so it is always best to use lighter colours but for the sake of this video 
Then what we're going to do is just finish up with the tail and for the tail, keeping that nice and tight, we're going to chain three. So one, two, three, you're going to chain three. Then in our second stitch from hook, so there's our first one, don't count the loop on the hook, there's our first, there's our second, so that one in the middle, we're just going to do a little slip stitch. Just a little slip stitch like so, then we're going to chain three from then, from there, one, two, three, and then we're going to cut our yarn and just pull that through till it creates a little knot on the end, and you can see you just twist that round, creates just a little twisty tail on the end, I don't know how well you can see that, we're going to hide this tail in though, tail end. <laughs> Never before has that been so appropriate. So I'm thread that on and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sew through the end again. Just really knot that into place. And then I'm going to trim as close as I can, not right on there, just leave a tiny little bit there. Like so and then we can just twist our little tail into shape and there we go there is our main pig shape so unfortunately you can see those dark colors coming through on this one it went a little bit better so there we go now we need to make some feet that's what we're going to do next okay okay so putting our little pig down there for a second to make the feet what we're going to do is using the same color obviously in the same hook size we're going to chain four Okay, we're going to chain four, so a little slip knot, chain four, so one, two, three, and four, chain four, and we're going to slip stitch in our first chain, so find your first chain, one, two, three, four, find that first chain there, bring the arm through, then bring it straight through the loop on your hook to do a slip stitch. And that joins your loops at the beginning, your loop rather, at the beginning and the end. And in the middle, obviously, you're going to end up with a hole. So don't confuse it, that's your chain one hole, you don't want to go through there. You want to find that hole in the middle of your chains, of your loop. And in that hole, we're going to put our hook, so put it through there. Make sure you put it through there, not your chain one. We're going to do five single crochet. So bring the yarn through, yarn over and do a single crochet. We need five of these. So we're going to go back into that centre hole. Bring the yarn through, and do another single crochet. Two. Back in there again. It gets easier the more you do. Three. To the center again, just wrapping it around the chains. Doesn't matter how many chains you've got now, you're just wrapping the single crochets around the chains. Four and one more, five. And you should be able to just pull that hole close a little bit. If you doesn't, if it doesn't close, it probably means you've gone into the chain one by accident. It's not going to come in as good as a magic circle, but it should get a bit smaller. So when you've got five single crochet like that, we're going to slip stitch in our first one. So one, two, three, four, five. Find your first single crochet that you did. Put your hook in there. Do a slip stitch. Like so. You should end up with a little circle. It's going to be the base of the foot. Uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to chain one and it's very similar to how we did the snout so chain one don't count that as a stitch and find the first single crochet that you just slip stitched into so it's this one here the one you just went into with the slip stitch but again instead of going through the stitch as normal like that we go through both loops we're going to go into the back loop only so we're going to go down the middle find that back loop only okay so leaving that front one alone there just go into the back loop only and do a single crochet we're going to do one single crochet in each stitch round but in the back loop only so for the next one again we don't go through we don't go through both loops like this 
Okay, we don't go don't go through both. You just want to go through that back one. Okay, do one single crochet. So that's two. Back loop only, one single crochet in the next back loop. Three. And one single crochet in the next back loop. Four. Then one single crochet in the next back loop. Five. So you've got your stitch count of five now. But what is very interesting is it does look like there's a big stitch left at the end. That is actually our fake stitch. Okay, it's a bit crazy, but we do have our stitch count of one, two, three, four, five. So don't be tempted to go into that one. You have to skip that humongous um, fake stitch. There's our little chain one. Find that first single crochet that you did all the way over here. And then we're gonna do a slip stitch in there, but you wanna go for the stitch as normal. So you want to go through both loops and then bring the arm through there straight through the loop on your hook keep it in focus give it a little tug and you want to pop it out in that direction okay then what we're going to do is I'm just going to trim down this tail end to get out of the way for this video normally I'd tuck these in and use them as a bit of stuffing but I'm just going to get that out of the way then what we're going to do is we are going to just chain one Again, don't count that as a stitch. Then go back into the same stitch you just slip stitched into, but we're going to go into it as normal. So you're going to go under both loops. Sometimes wish this crochet was just a little bit pointier at the end to get into smaller stitches. Go under both loops as normal and do one single crochet. And we're going to do one single crochet into each stitch around. So I went into the same one we just slip stitched into there. So one. One single crochet in the next stitch, two, one single crochet in the next stitch, three, one single crochet in the next stitch, four, One single crochet in the last stitch, five. Oops. Okay, like so, get that tail end out of the way. Then there's our fake stitch. Okay, it always looks like there's a big stitch left. Be careful not to work into there. There's our chain one. Find your first, it doesn't help. I've got this fuzzy, I've got a fuzzy tail end now, which is <laughs> making it even more difficult. You can just push those in with the scissors, get that out of the way so we can see our stitches clearer. So, okay, so there's your fake stitch. Chain one is hidden all the way down there. Find your first single crochet that you did and do a slip stitch into there. It might be a little bit tricky to see, but that's the end of our little foot. Then you want to leave a little bit for sewing onto your pig just pull that through and there we go and you can add a little bit of stuffing you want but uh, I haven't bothered I'm literally just going to sew that on to the pig there's the base okay and you want to make sure you want to position them about just below the ears really for the first two and two about there so we're going to put that on I'll show you the first one and then what you've got to do is repeat that for the other three feet legs okay so about back here I'm gonna position a little leg and I'm just literally just just sewing it on basically For a bit of the body and then for a bit of the foot. Always checking your position as you go. Okay, so I'm going to repeat that for the other three legs, sew them on, and then I shall come back and show you pretty much a finished pig. Okay. 
to show you actually how I hide my tail ends as well. If you haven't seen that before. Almost there. Okay, so I think that's just about sewn on for the first one. Then when you hide your tail end, you just, just sew over somewhere to the other side of the body and come out through a stitch. And then go back in where you came out, come over somewhere else, doesn't matter where, come out for a stitch. That disappears into there. I'll do it one more time because it catches on the inside. Go back in where you came out, come out over here disappears in there and then we just push the body down just hold that tight close as cut as close as you can and then the tail end just disappears on the inside so there we go there is our first little pig's foot and I'm going to repeat that for the other three feet and I shall come back okay so there we go I just repeated that for the other three legs and sewn those on in exactly the same way hiding my tails on the inside all that's left to do now is to give him some eyes and so we're going to take a short length of our black yarn take our yarn needle thread that on and what we're going to do is we're just going to do some little just little lines really so I'm going to go in about there and come out a stitch over I'm going to leave a little bit of a tail there. I'm going to go back in where I first went in. So I'm going to go back in there. Then I'm going to come out about that stitch there, I think. So I'll leave about two stitch holes in between. Come out. So I've gone back in where I first went in and I've come out over here. So that will leave a little eye created there. Then I'm going to go down a stitch there and then I'm just gonna hide my tails the same way as I've hidden all my other tails so that creates another little eye and then just go back in somewhere go back in where we came out come over, over here that'll disappear in there go back in where we came out come out over here that should disappear on the inside and then push down trim and then that disappears on the inside and then we just need to hide the beginning tail end and to do that we go in the same place where we first went in so literally go back in there again and hide your tail end in the same way so just come out wherever disappears on the inside go back in where you came out that yarn falling off there we go, so go back in where we came out, come out over here this time, that disappears in there, because it all gets caught up on the inside. Push down, pull up slightly, trim as close as you can, let go, and that disappears on the inside. And there we go, he's got a couple of little eyes. And your pig's finished. Just get that. And there we go, there are our two little pigs. Two little naughty pigs. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. These would be perfect to go on the crochet long road play mat if you wanted to create a little farmyard of animals. And I might do some more of these. I might create a sheep and a cow as well. We'll see. But I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I hope you managed to follow along. And I will see you soon for some more crochet fun. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.